All right, so welcome back to another video of how to rip your van into pieces and take it all apart. Um, yeah, today I am going to be recolouring the headlining, roof lining, whatever lining you want to call it, in my Volkswagen Transport T5. So I haven't done this before. Um, it's all new to me taking the headlining out. Not done it, but I'm sure it's very straightforward. The idea is is to remove it, re-dye it in a black paint. I've got some like a, it's like a black dye. So that's all gonna be changed. I don't like the gray. It doesn't match the new red. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that I've obviously been recoloring all the dash and stuff like that. And this red here is very bright compared to that gray. So the best thing I can do with this is dye it in black. Um, I'm gonna show you what stuff I got because it's not the usual um, sort of way that people do it. A lot of people are buying shoe polish, um, which is fine. I've got nothing against shoe polish. But do I want shoe polish in my van? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I suppose the advantage of shoe polish is if I hit my head on the roof lining, then I might look like I've got some hair. But apart from that, I can't see why I would want shoe polish on my headlining. <laughs> anyway... Um, yes, yeah, so I've got a black fabric dye that's going to be going all over it a few coats of that stuff um, The idea is is to take these trims out. I think the B pillar. That's all got to come out Handles they're coming out. These are coming out sun visors lights um, The other sun visor this as well my sunglasses holder a pillars are coming off So yeah, I've got to take the van completely apart just to redo this um, however it's going to be worth it. It's going to look good. So yeah, can't complain. Um, one thing I was going to say, which I totally forgot. Oh, that was it. That was it. I remember now. Yeah. So whilst I've got it apart, because I haven't finished the B pillars yet, they still want to be coloured. I'm going to redo them um, in a different colour. And then also these trims. I'm going to do something fancy with these. I might even do them in the red to match. So if this is black and that's red, um, it'll look pretty good. So yeah, keep watching. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. I'm always posting videos of um, different bits on the Volkswagen Transporters. So yeah, I can show you how to take your van apart completely and not put it back together again. Um, but anyway, um, I hope you find this video useful. Yeah, please subscribe. And if you do like this video, please do like it because it makes the algorithms go higher. So that means it gets more views, which means more people will know about this channel. So it also helps them. Um, and leave a comment if you've got any questions or if you just want to, you know, have a bit of a laugh. Cheers. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop the driver's side sun visor out. So that just clips out like that. And then you'll see up here, there's a little sort of like clip thing that needs to come off. Now there's a little tab in the, you can see there, perfect sort of size for my flathead. So I'm just going to push that in and I'm just going to gently turn my flathead screwdriver. There you go, that pops off. And then there is a couple of little Torx screws on here. So I'm going to pop them out next. So it's a T20 Torx bit. If you're wondering one screw and then you've got another try and do this one-handed there we go so that popped out now on the other side i'm just going to slide my screwdriver in and just give it a little bit of a turn motion like so it's popped out now. Um, it's quite hard to take that off really without doing a tiny bit of a mark, but that'll be fine when I've coloured it. You won't even notice it. Now I'm just going to unscrew the torque screws on this as well. It's quite hard to get this bit under. <laughs> it's under here, so I can fold that back up. So basically this this little bit here is like underneath so when you pull it out make sure you just put it forward towards the windscreen gently and release it i'm going to do the same on this side it's going to be exactly the same so i'll do that as well so that's both of the sun visors out 
I'm now going to move on to the grab rail. So by the looks of things, you've got to take the little screw caps off here and then we'll see what's underneath that. Just going to put my screwdriver in there. Just one little tab. So it looks like we've got a torque screw. Looks like it's going to be the T20 as well. So it's the same size. I'll just take the other side off. There you go. For some reason this one didn't unclip. Um, no, it does. There we go. Let's get my T20... I've only got one grub handle because the other side is where my sunglasses holder is fitted. I must say it's a lot of work um, <laughs> just to paint a headlining. Two screws. And there you go, that comes off just like that. I'll probably just pop the sunglasses holder off later because when I fitted it, it's only screwed into the headliner anyway. So I can do that when that's off. The next thing I'm gonna do is, I think pop this light out to see what is behind here. So now with the light, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pop my screwdriver behind it and just twist it, just gently twist. Um, and then now, I don't know if you can see that on camera, just pops out. Oh, so we've got a bit of dust up there. Um, so that's that bit out and then there looks like it could be some screws up there But without getting my head right underneath. Yeah, it looks like they've got torque screws again So I'm going to take a look at that next Okay, so I'm just going to pop those screws out By chance they are t20s as well Hope you can see this on cam Dropped one screw, but I found it <laughs> gotta be very careful with these screws because um, if you lose them, they're not like the sort of ones you can just pick up at a local shop, you know. Always something with a funny thread on them, so just be very careful. There you go, another one. And then, let's have a feel now. That looks like it wants to come, but there must be some sort of wiring harness behind here. Let me see if I can pop this off in case there must be something behind got a feeling they're never just gonna pop right out I might have to get my trim removal tool and have a quick look so it looks like there is some sort of like tabs holding it in here um, I'm gonna pop my screwdriver in there and see if this releases it um, so there we go there's one and then there is two and then at the back of the light let's have a quick look looks like we've got a plug on the back as well so the plug what i've done um you can see here it's going to put it on gently um i'll just put my screwdriver just to release it a little bit gently either side because it clips onto the, the base of the light and then i'll just release that so that's that part done um it looks like it's getting a bit looser which is good now so hopefully with a bit more work we should be out of here so to get this sort of cubby hole thing at the top out I'm gonna have to there's like a, a tab on here I think you push it this way or that way I'm not gonna take this off just yet though because I'm gonna take these a pillars off first um, because I think if I take this off now the front of the ceiling will want to start coming down so we'll move on to the a pillars and get this bit out I did show you how to do this in one of my last videos um, when I resprayed these but I will show you again now because it's probably people that haven't seen that video all right, so I'm just gonna slide my trim tool behind, just gently pry it back, and then try and locate the clips. So you can hear that coming away. There you go. Right, I'll just gently lift this out. Do the same on the other side. There we go. And that part. So you can see here, it wants to come out. The other thing I need to take out is actually my microphone for the CD player, which I've just done now. Um, and then I'm going to start taking these B pillars out. Uh, they're going to have to come next and then, yeah, we can move on. So with the B pillar, all you do is you've got to take the seat belt uh, bolt out here. Um, what I 
sort of done, if I can find it, is I've used um, an Allen key, which fits like perfectly. It's not even a Torx bit actually, it's, it's a spline bit. So um, I think they call them splines. Um, but you can see, let me bring the camera closer. I'm not encouraging anyone to use the wrong tools, but what I'm saying is, is I, for me, this is what I done. I used a, a spline bit. Uh, the Allen key, should I say, for the spline bit. And it comes out absolutely fine for me. So I remember when I'd done the conversion and I had to take the bulkhead out, <clears throat> it wasn't a tool that I had, and I think you can get them in Halfords, but they're pretty expensive. So, so that you can see that now comes out, and then it's going to be a case of removing this trim now. So that's where I screwed my curtain into. So you see, I've just unscrewed it now, and then I've just left the screw back in there. Um, so the idea is, let me come round a bit. Uh, the idea is, is to pop this this off. Um, now there is a there is like a screw uh, at the top, and then popping ones. You can see there. I've had this panel off so many times, it just comes off really easy for me. But you should really use a trim removal tool um, so yeah that's how mine's come off but you should really use a trim removal tool to take these off uh, don't put it like I did because you'll probably damage it but I've had mine off so many times now it's it's gone pe gone past caring if you know what I mean um, so I'm just gonna have to look, this is starting to come out now I'm gonna have to now take the other side off and that should release the um, back of the headline in however I'm still gonna have to take this middle strip off here not a screwdriver use a trim tool to pop this off from underneath there you go hope you can see what i'm doing here um that's that trim now so the whole ceiling roof lining keep calling it ceiling is now almost free to go So now I'm going to pop these tabs out here and I think there's going to be another couple of screws at the top um, of the light. So once I've taken this out, this will fall down. So I'm going to have to put you over here. <laughs> um, one second. Let's put you here for a sec. So. There you go, there's one. And then this is where it's going to just fall on my head. And if, oh, actually, I can just leave that hanging. So if I leave that hanging, where is my Torx driver? Oh, mind your head when you do this. <laughs> there they are, this is messy. So you've got one, one screw. I'm going to use my head just to prop it up. Because I've got no mates. I've got no friends who can sit and help me whilst I struggle. Here she comes. She I might be able to do it with one hand. Get in there. Hope this goes back all right. Um, just remember what screws go where. Here we go. Um, okay. So now I'm gonna have the joys of trying to get it out whilst I'm still in it. Uh, maybe I have to take the seats out. Don't know. Um, I'm gonna open this door and give that a go. See what happens. <laughs> See if I can drag it out the door. <laughs> oh dear. Didn't think this one through, did I? Here we go. Here she comes. Moment of truth. She's out. So I'm just going to pop this out, um, the little cubby hole thing, <laughs> annoying, I might be able to push it through, but I don't want to damage the headlining. Mm. 
it does seem to go actually it's a bit tricky yeah managed to do it without taking it off that's handy because I want to spray all that and then I'm going to take this off next so we take this off and then One screw, two screw. So now we have one clear headlining ready for recolouring. I've already started colouring the headlining, but I'm going to be doing a separate video on this. I'm going to show you from start to finish how to do that. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it useful. I'm going to continue on with my mess um, but yeah check my other videos and keep subscribed because like I say this will be going up next in a separate video. Cheers.